Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Here's Bayan with Bayan Renault. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a drywall patch. I just have a little bit uh, thing different that I'm gonna do this time to save a little bit of time. This one here was just a leak. We had the plumber to do the plumb, but on the end he didn't tighten enough the the shower had the pipe who goes on the wall so it was a leak from there and it's just more than a year later the thing just show up we have to come back and repair it and now we have a video on that too let's start what i gonna do today i gonna use some fast set concrete fill to pat the holes but what i gonna do today i will mix the concrete fill right now before i start to do anything because i calculate probably gonna take me about half an hour to straighten up this cut put the piece up so by that time take me about half an hour is half an hour that the concrete fill is mixed and it start to set so in that case would save me half an hour if i do it in 20 minutes save me 20 minutes so and time is important because this one here to for less stress for the customer i just want to do it uh, with concrete fill and finish it right away and then later on i just come back for a few minutes to do the sanding and paint it and we're done so we're gonna do it in two turn bang do this now sand and paint later let's start i'm gonna mix some concrete fill and put it somewhere just let it sit work on the rest of the job i'll be right back my concrete fill is already mixed i'm just gonna let it there sit and i'm gonna do the rest of the work let's start with the pulling up some isolation first i'm just gonna snap in this uh, dust mask and we go from there so i'm gonna put some of this isolation up Try to put some behind the pipe in there. Let me see if I can just fit some behind the pipe. I don't want to push it too tight. Just enough to keep a little bit of a... Uh, keep it a little bit soft in there. Once I cut the drywall, I put a little bit more in there. I have a piece of drywall here pre-cut. Gonna be a little bit of a gap because it's all what I had this piece was a little bit shorter than what I need. But uh, that's not an issue, so... I just what I gonna do here. I'm just gonna mark more or less the center of the joist somewhere in there and I'm just gonna put this board right something I put line line up this stuff okay looking good just gonna cut it in there That should be pretty much it. I'm gonna test it. Let's see if we're good. Just, uh, just a little bit in here. <laughs> Not very tiny bit, less than one eight. Here we have it in. Nice and good. Just to make sure that we have a, uh, I'm gonna just put some a little bit more isolation, not too much here underneath this pipe. Here I put few more screws in here just to make sure that this side of the board is nice and tight, just to hold it better. There I always up, guys. Just gonna clean up a few little things. It's just an old tape in here, I just remove the old tape. Like you guys can see here, I just remove the tape. This mud is there and it's good, so I'm not gonna remove it. Because if I remove it later on, I just have to put more mud, so... On the end, it does, just doesn't make sense. Like you guys can see, concrete feels still good. And be seen there for a few minutes. I'm gonna do a remix on it. And we go from there. Usually I use two inches tape, mesh tape. This one is uh, three inches. Work the same. It's just what I have on hand right now. I'm 
Now that thing is just like just to show you guys. Here you just don't go over top that part there where you have the mud. Otherwise it's gonna be a little bit too high. This one here I'm just gonna overlap a little bit because the bevel is a little bit deep. Okay, tape is done. We're just gonna load it right now. Like you guys can see here, this side don't leave much material because the, mud, the old mud is already there. The tape is right here, so here I don't need to load it good, just uh, enough to cover the joint. I'm gonna try to go a little bit closer to the light in here. See if I, I can get away without removing the light. But if I have to, if the light is very easy to remove, just pop it off. Once I put the knife in there, I see what is going on. Okay guys, so uh, see, just uh, the whole process didn't take very long. It is there, now I just let it set. And then I come back and do some scrape it and do the finish coat. Probably gonna take another another bit. Possible that the concrete feel gonna set uh, before the nine minutes. And the reason was intentional. When I start to work with this the pen, it was not like 100% washed because it was messed with the little bit mess with the concrete that we mixed the other day. Make the process of fermentation goes fast. So this guy's probably I calculate that is very soon. Probably the time that I mix it with one hour would be like a rock. Okay, I guess I see you guys in a bit. I'm just gonna let this thing sit in here. I'm gonna wash this one, prepare a little bit of uh, finished mud, and then come back and load it. And I guess I see you guys in a bit. Hello guys, we're back here. Just a little bit later. I'm just gonna do some scrape that's gonna be on the place of sanding. That way you don't have to sand and make dust. Like you guys can see, we're doing the job here. Put one coat, no the second coat and it's like a, it's no dust it's a little bit mess with the other stuff but no real dust it's gonna be a little bit dust when we're doing the sand but we make sure you bring a good vacuum and uh, work on it okay i'm gonna pop out this light i just try to find some uh, high spot that way i can scrape it down a bit i put it all down the poly then once i just wrap the poly up Nice and clean to go. Now we're just gonna gonna load it with a finished mud and gonna be fast. And like you guys can see, this mud is a little bit harder. The reason is sometimes when you do it at the same time, it shrinks a little bit. If you have it harder, less water, less headache, like looks better. Like you see here, was one coat of concrete fill, and now I'm gonna do it mud. But if the the place is not flat enough, you can do like two coat of concrete fill. If uh, if, if it is a need. Okay, so I have the mud in there. What I do, I'm gonna scrape most of this mud again. That way eliminate some fish eye. So I'm just gonna scrape it and reload. The hard mud like this one is good for one pot, but if you have to work uh, the whole day with the mud, it's better to do it a little bit smooth. That way you don't get so tired. But in this case here is uh, what we need. So I have it one coat, you guys can see it's already smooth. I'm just gonna put another coat on top right away. Like you guys can see on this coat, I leave in a little bit more mud. That way I have enough mud on top of the concrete field to do my sanding. Not like the first coat. First coat I put it on and it's it. Uh, here I just want to make sure that I have enough mud there to sand once I put the ring back everything is covered. Very much about it guys. Like you guys can see it's no much sand. I just come do few minutes sanding with a vacuum and we're good to go. 
and then just roll the paint on and there we go very much it no just looking here but this is good now i know you guys know how to do a dry oil patch on the ceiling and with less dust because it's still a little bit mess a little bit dust but if you do this way it's less stress for the customer and if you're doing your own you don't have to clean up like uh, you can look around we have the pollen here for some mess but all the stuff you don't see like dust are looking good thank you very much guys I love you guys, see you soon, and we let you know we're gonna come back and do a little bit sand probably tomorrow next day, and do the paint on the ceiling, and it's about it, I love you guys, thank you to watch, if you have comment, just leave on the section below, and if you have question, place it there, and we answer your questions the best we can, and uh, see you next videos, thank you.